The COVID-19 pandemic has crippled the tourism industry across the world. But for nations where tourism is a substantial part of their GDP, the COVID-19 lockdowns have created an unprecedented economic crisis. Is This is the case for Kenya. The tourism till last year was the second largest contributor to its GDP. So how is Kenya dealing with this crisis? This next report tells you more. Take a look. Kenya is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Endowed with the rich flora and fauna, this African nation is a hotbed of tourism. Each year, over one and a half million international tourists flock to Kenya to witness its biodiversity, its rich culture, and to enjoy its exquisite tropical beaches. In 2019, the tourism industry generated over $1.54 billion in revenue. But this year, tourism is on its knees. For the people of the Maasai Mara, who rely on tourism for their subsistence, the COVID-19 lockdown has proven to be a body blow. <laughs> From July till October is the tourist season in Kenya. This is also the time when the great annual wildebeest migration takes place at the Maasai Mara. Over two million wildebeest make the epic journey in search of greener pastures. But this year, no domestic or international tourists have arrived to witness this event that is often called the eighth wonder of the world. Hotel bookings have been cancelled since March, safaris shut and no revenue made. This uh, model depends on tourism. Uh, you know, tourists come into the camp and, and, the, and the money they pay to be in the camps uh, for this to survive. So without this, so far what they're doing right now is that uh, they're paying half. If the landowners are not getting any revenue, they can't uh, feed themselves, they can't uh, send their kids to school, they would have no option but to look at other uh, forms of land utilization. So whether that is fencing it off, uh, whether it's selling it to people, since the beginning of this year, Kenya has lost over $750 million due to booking cancellations. Kenya so far has reported over 10,000 cases of COVID-19 with 185 fatalities. Till a cure or a vaccine is found, it is difficult to see how the tourism industry will bounce back. Bureau Report, we on, world is one.